Hello lovely students and welcome back to English with Lucy. Today I've got a pronunciation video for you and we are also going to be talking about spelling. Today's topic is plural nouns and that might seem quite simple or quite easy to some of you but trust me lots of people struggle with this. Why do we say one book but two books with a s sound yet we say one dog, two dogs with a z sound. To make things even more complicated, we say one house, two houses with an is sound. Plural nouns are not as simple as you think, but I can definitely simplify them for you today. I'm going to cover all of the spelling and pronunciation rules with you. And as always, there is a free PDF that goes with this lesson. It contains everything that we're going to cover today and importantly it has a quiz it's totally free to download if you'd like to download this pdf just click on the link in the description box you enter your name and your email address you sign up for my mailing list and the pdf will arrive directly in your inbox after that you will automatically receive all of my free weekly lesson pdfs along with all my news course updates and offers. It's a free service and you can unsubscribe at any time. One other thing, if you are interested in British English pronunciation, more specifically learning my accent, the modern RP accent, then I am running a special offer on my pronunciation course. In this course, we go through every single phoneme and how to pronounce it, plus loads of other lessons. It really is an excellent course. If you'd like to discover that special offer, just click on the link in the description box and you will see it, it's all there for you. Right, let's get started with this pronunciation and spelling lesson. So plural nouns are the form that tells us that there is more than one of something. With regular nouns, we simply add an S to make them plural. For example, one book, two books, one dog, two dogs, one house, two houses. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, there are three different ways to pronounce the S at the end of regular nouns. We have S as in books, Z as in dogs, and Is as in houses. We're going to talk about those three sounds in detail today, and I'm going to teach you how to decide which one to use. But first, I want to mention the spelling of irregular nouns. Irregular plural nouns and they're not made by just adding an s. You sometimes need to add a letter or two or completely change the spelling. Let me give you some examples. One baby, two babies. One knife, two knives. One church, two churches. I'll go into more detail about these spelling changes in a moment. But first, let's talk about the pronunciation of s at the end of plural nouns, regular plural nouns. Listen to the sound s. It's like the sound a snake makes. It's completely voiceless. So if you put your hand on your voice box here and you say s, you shouldn't feel a vibration. That's a really good way to check if a sound is voiced or unvoiced or voiced and voiceless. When you say a voiced sound like m or v, if you put your hand on your throat, you'll feel that it vibrates. M, v. Mine certainly did. I hope yours did too. We use the s sound if the sound that comes before the s ending is f, k, p, t, or so five sounds there. So now you know when to use the s sound in a plural. Let's look at some examples. We have belief, beliefs. If you try and say that with a z sound instead of a s sound, beliefs, it sounds weird. And it's also more difficult. So do yourself a favor because not many parts of English are logical and easy, but this part is, I think. We also have book, books, cup, cups, bat, bats, moth, moths. 
Try saying any of those with a z sound and it will cost you more energy. Let's move on to the z sound and when to use it. Previous sound was like a snake. S. This one is like a b. Z. <laughs> Voiced. So if you put your hand on your throat again, z, you should feel a vibration. Now the z sound is far more common and we use it after many more sounds. We use it after the b sound, the d sound, g, u, m, n, n. I know that n sound is quite hard to pronounce. M at the front, n in the middle, n in the back. I cover all of this in the pronunciation course. Again, you can click on the link in the description box to claim that special offer. R, v, v, or vowel sounds. All of these are voiced, so again, we match them up with the voiced z sound. Let's see some examples. We have crab, crabs, bed, beds, dog, dogs, hill, hills, Dream, dreams. Pen, pens. King, kings. Clothe, clothes. Glove, gloves. Bee, bees. Boy, boys. Shoe, shoes. So we've gone through quite a lot already, but we're not done. We're not done with the z sound yet. There are some spelling changes. I said earlier that some words change their spelling when we make them plural. Baby, babies. Knife, knives. Let's look at baby, babies first. To make the word baby plural, we remove the y and we add i, e, s. We do this when the letter before the y is a consonant, like the b, in baby. Some other examples. Puppy, puppies. Lady, ladies. Blueberry, blueberries. When a word ends in ies, that z sound is voiced, even when the sound that comes before it is unvoiced. Like with puppies, p is unvoiced, but because it's followed by ies, we say ease. Another example, ability, abilities. Now let's talk about knife and knives. You can see that to make the word knife a plural we take away the f and the e and we replace it with ves. This often happens when a noun ends in f or fe. Let's take a look at some more examples. We have loaf, loaves, life, lives, wolf, wolves. However, there are quite a few words that don't change. Previously we saw belief, beliefs. We also have chef, chefs, handcuff, handcuffs. English is full of exceptions. If you're ever in doubt, take a look at the dictionary and the one I recommend is the Oxford Learner's Dictionary because more often than not they have the phonetic transcriptions for both the plurals and the singulars. That way you can take a look at the differences. I have one more section under the z sound, words that end in o. When these words are made plural they end in z but sometimes we also change the spelling. For some words we simply add the s, for example piano, pianos, radio, radios, photo, photos, but for others we add es, tomato, tomatoes, potato, potatoes, hero, heroes. Oh, the final word that we're looking at today is the is sound and this sound is special because when we add it to the end of a singular word to make it plural it adds an extra syllable. One of the examples I gave you earlier was church and churches. Can you hear the extra syllable? Is, churches. Luckily, we have some rules for this extra syllable sound. We use it when a noun ends in any one of these five sounds. S, j, z, ch, and sh. When we're writing the word, we either add s or es. If the word already ends in e, we simply add s. Here are a handful of examples. We have bridge, bridges, chance, chances, prize, prizes. With words that don't already end in e, we just add es. 
For example, kiss, kisses, watch, watches, box, boxes. Okay, I've taught you a lot of rules today. And I think it's time to put what you've learnt into practice. Shall we try a quiz? I'm going to say a singular noun and I want you to decide how we would say the plural version of that noun. You can either say it out loud, you can write it in the comment section, or you can write it down at home. I want to know the pronunciation and the spelling. Do we add a s, a z, or an is? Okay, there are 10 to go through. Let's get started. Number one, rat. Rat. The answer should be rats with a s sound. Next we have class. Class. The answer should be classes. We add that extra syllable is. Next we have apple. Apple. The answer is apples. Apples. All is voiced, so we add z. Okay, next one, number four. Beach. Beach. The answer is beaches beaches we add that extra syllable what about shop shop the answer is shops shops okay this is a tough one number six is fridge fridge the answer is fridges Fridges with the extra syllable. What about number seven, kangaroo? Kangaroo. The answer is kangaroos. Kangaroos with the z sound. What about month? Month. It should be months, months. We also have party, party. It's parties, parties. Watch out for that spelling change. Finally, a really hard one. We have gulf, gulf. It should be gulfs, gulfs. Right, that is it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. I've taught you a lot of rules today. Now it's time to put them into practice. If you'd like to review everything we've learned in today's lesson, everything we've discussed, and take part in the quiz, then download our free PDF. All you've got to do is click on the link in the description box, enter your name and your email address, and the PDF will come directly to your inbox. If you're really interested in improving your pronunciation, I'm running that special offer on my pronunciation course, my British English pronunciation course. The offer and all of its details are in the description box as well. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Instagrams, at Lucy, my personal one, and at English with Lucy, my English Instagram. I also have my website, englishwithlucy.co.uk, where I have a fantastic pronunciation tool. It's a phonemic chart. You can click on all the phonemes and hear me pronounce those phonemes and words that contain those phonemes. I also have my vlogging channel, Lucy Bella, where you can follow us and our lives here in the English countryside. But importantly, all of the vlogs are fully subtitled so that you can use them for listening practice and for expanding your vocabulary. I hope to see you for another lesson very, very soon. Mwah. We're going to talk about those 3,000... The 3,000 data. Okay, far more. Far more vowels. Bears. Sorry. <laughs> knife. It's knife. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> yeah. S J Y. <laughs> Sorry. S Ch Z Ch. 
This is really hard to say. Oh, look how British I am. Apologising to you all the time. I'm sorry for saying sorry so much, right? <laughs>